It's starting your day. Sometimes, although it's not true in every situation and circumstance, but sometimes you know you're going the right way by how much opposition you have in your way. <laughs> sometimes you know you're doing the right thing when everything seems to be going against you. Because as much as you find yourself doing God's will, you'll also find that there is an opposition to that. that doing God's will doesn't mean that everything's going to go smooth every day. But that there's going to be attacks and trials and tribulations and challenges to you that will come from sometimes your flesh, sometimes spiritual attacks, sometimes people, places, things. But the reality is, is that God uses all of them put together, whether it be from one side or the other side or the other side or upside or downside, to bring us to the one place where he can use us and fit us perfectly in the kingdom for what he would want us to do and as he has us to do each and every day as we commit our lives to him that whether we go off on our own tangent in the morning or at noon or at night we can still come back and find that God has been working with us and around us or through us to bring us back to the place where he would have us and sometimes that means backtracking where you got to go full circle and come back to that place of testing until you finally pass the trial that he's trying to bring about in your life and you may see that happen more than once <laughs> it might happen for the rest of your life but that's the joy and the excitement sometimes the repetition of being a born-again Christian of being someone who's walking after God and seeking to follow Jesus with all their heart, with all their soul, with all their mind, with all their being, with everything that they are. Joy unspeakable. Now to him who is able to keep you without stumbling or slipping or falling and to present you unblemished, blameless or faultless before the presence of his glory and triumphant joy and exaltation with unspeakable ecstatic delight. <laughs> Boy. Now he who is able to present you faultless before the Father with exceeding joy, that's the way I remember it. I used to be so miserable when I went to bed, I wished it was time to get up. And when I got up, I was still so miserable I wanted to go back to bed. I was under the curse of not obeying the voice of the Lord or serving him with joyfulness. See Deuteronomy 28, 15, 48. Obedience to God fills our lives with so much joy that we don't even know how to talk about it. <laughs> the Bible calls it joy unspeakable and full of glory. 1 Peter 1, 8. Experience the joy of being in God's awesome presence. Start your day by praising God for your blessings and worshiping Him with the heart ready to serve Him. You know, it, there is a joy that you find when you're doing that which God has prepared you to do and made you fit for the circumstances of your life. Because you kind of get a kick out of it. It's like, wow, did you see what the Lord did? I mean, cool. You just kind of like bask in what he's accomplishing, not just in you, but in the world around you and the people that you are involved in or in something that you prayed for and suddenly you see the accomplishment in your life or something that you've always wanted to do and suddenly God opens the door and you get a chance to do it and you go, yeah, that's cool. And those are the times that we are reminded to give thanks and praise because this is what God talked about as far as abundant life is concerned. It's not about having everything or doing everything, but it's about in knowing that He wants to have us enjoy what every day can bring and the only way to do that really is when you find yourself doing what he wants you to do by seeking him in the morning spending time with him through your day and by the time night hits you go wow i think it's easier to do it your way than my way and that's the part of why jesus said take my yoke upon me upon you for my yoke is easy and my burden is light because if you are walking with him if you're walking according to his will, if you're doing things that he wanted you and you've talked to him about and he's chosen for you to experience, then 
you kind of like get an idea that, you know, God is here. And I didn't know it, but right in the very midst of my circumstances, I suddenly discovered God is with me. And that's what Jacob discovered at Peniel when he was experiencing so much about God that he was like, wow, man, I never would have expected to find God in this place. And you know, in your day, in mine, that's what we need to recognize is that we may not think to find God in a certain place, but God will meet us wherever we are. And at that place of contact, that is where we need to be recognition. We need to have a recognition that God is literally everywhere. If we have eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit of God would have us to know, which really is simply this, and it boils down to it pretty, pretty clear. God is in you, God is with you, God is all around you. You may not know it, you may not understand it, but I can tell you, you can flow with it, you can go with that knowledge. And when you have it, no matter what the circumstances are of life, no matter what you may be experiencing at this moment, you will begin to see, to hear, and to feel the presence of a holy God living and alive in you, around you, about you. Because God created this universe, and He is in control. So why not check in with Him? Check it out. You may find out that that's what He is all about, and you just need to get together with Him.